Hello students, let us have a lecture about circular motion. Now what if we involve time? What if we are interested in knowing how many minutes, how many seconds does that object need to complete a revolution? Or how fast do that, does that object move when it touches the land? Okay, so we're now referring to motion and still we are under circular motion. Again, we consider this car's wheel. Definitely, it has a radius. Okay, because that is circular. Now, if it is moving, then there is a generated central angle, theta. When time is zero, then the car is not moving. When the time is now greater than zero, then the car definitely is moving. Now, this red represents the arc the arc length right but now we are referring it to the distance covered that is now the distance covered by the object at a particular time okay so in physics the average speed is equal to the distance traveled over time elapsed by the particular object now in trigonometry we are referring to the linear spin when we are talking to the distance covered S over time. This V here is the speed, which is equal to the distance covered over time elapsed. Well, hindi tayo nawala sa sinasabi ng physics. Okay? Now, what if we are interested in the angles? What if, if we are interested in the revolutions? So how many revolutions can be done at a particular time? Then that is the angular speed. The angular speed is interested in knowing the number of revolutions, the regions that can be generated at a particular time. And that is symbolized by this one is a Greek letter omega, which is equal to okay the number of regions the angle measurements in regions again that must be in regions over time so you are interested in this case the number of revolutions in a particular time the linear speed is the rate at which the, the distance traveled is changing and this s here or the arc length will now become the distance in the new concept linear speed Okay, now the angular speed is interested in knowing the rate at which the central angle is changing, the central angle theta, which must be in regions, okay? We normally talk about how many revolutions does it happen after a particular time or how many regions uh, per minute, per second, something like that. And that's all about angular speed. So before we proceed to the examples, we need to recall again that one revolution is equal to two pi regions, okay? And the arc length S is equal to the product of the radius and the theta, the central angle theta, which is in regions. And the circumference of the circle is equal to two pi R. Well, all of these are helpful concepts that you need to recall to solve linear speed and the angular speed as we go through. Okay, let's have examples. An object moves at a constant linear speed of 12 centimeters per second around the miniature of Ferris wheel with radius 5.2 centimeters. So it's like an experiment in this miniature of Ferris wheel. No? The object is displayed here. The object, well, there is a speed, a linear speed of 12 centimeters in every second. So it's moving that fast. How large of a central angle in regions does it sweep out in five seconds okay now the given we need to identify the given first and after that we know that we're looking for the central angle and that is theta represented here we also know during our past discussion lecture about arc length that s is the arc length that is equal to the radius times theta but now we're referring to the distance s, but the formula does not change, okay? Now, we substitute 
the speed is 12 centimeters over second now we have 5.2 meters for uh, 5.2 centimeters for okay now let's look for the value of theta so theta is equal to okay so 12 is equal to 1.04 times theta divide both sides by 1.04 okay again just hold your calculator so in the calculator it can provide you 150 over 13 and that is approximately 11.454 regions let us have the second example the wheels of a car have ranges 0.3 meters and are rotating at 600 revolutions per minute find the speed of the car in meters per second okay remember we have minutes now we turn it to seconds so we need to be very cautious onto that on the first step we must have theta and we know that we have already 600 revolutions and for each revolution we have 2 pi regions so we need to multiply 600 to 2 pi and it will give us 1200 pi regions and that is a total number of okay regions happen in that 600 revolutions now after that we're looking for the distance and we know distance s or arc length s will definitely be used and we are now referring to the distance covered by that particular wheel or of the car so that is a product of the radius 0 0.3 meters times 1200 pi and that is the number of regions which is equal to 360 pi meters okay now the linear speed of that car is s the distance over time but when we go back to the given it is in here that naka minuto siya okay kaya dito 600 revolutions per minute but now we are looking meters per second so if our answer is 365 meters long then you are referring to every minute so we need to divide 365 meters to 60 seconds because one minute is equal to 60 seconds and that is equal to 6 pi meters per second remember we are conscious now kasi ang tinanong dito ay meters per second so we need to convert one minute to seconds and do the division the answer is 6 pi meters per second so we have the first example a boy rotates a stone in a five foot long sling at the rate of 15 revolutions every 10 seconds now this boy can rotate that object in 15 revolutions in every 10 seconds now we're going to find the angular and the linear speed of this stone now in 10 seconds the angle theta changes by 15 times 2 pi where we have 15 revolutions and uh, in every revolution we have 2 pi so we have 30 pi regions now the angular speed by substitution omega is equal to theta which is now equal to 30 pi so we just solve it and substitute time that is 10 seconds we have 3 pi regions per second for linear speed the arc length s will serve as the distance so we're solving the arc length and that is radius times theta well we know that theta is 30 pi here and the radius is 5 we have 5 feet multiply that to 150 pi feet so substitution uh, substituting the values and divide 150 pi by 10 we have 15 pi over 15 pi feet per second so in this next next example a potter's wheel with radius 8 inches so here is the radius we have 8 inches radius it spins at 145 revolutions every two minutes so we have kaya niya daw umiko to 145 sa loob lamang ng dalawang minuto so finding the angular speed 145 revolutions must be multiplied to 2 pi to get the total number of regions we have 290 pi regions substituting theta will give us now so we just have to substitute theta that is 190 pi regions 
and the time that is two minutes. So we have 145 pi meters per minute. So what about for the linear speed? Well, S is equal to R times theta. The radius is eight inches. Multiply to theta that is 290 pi. So we just solved it. Divided by two, then we have 1,160 pi inches per minute. Okay, as observed in the formula of the angular spin, omega is equal to theta over time. We notice that the angular speed does not depend on the radius of the circle. Actually, walang radius dito, right? But only on the angle theta. However, if we know the angular speed, pag ito alam natin, at alam din natin ang radius of the given, ay kaya naman nating hanapin ang linear speed. And how? So here are the steps. First, we know that the linear speed is equal to the distance s over time. We also know that s is represented by r theta. And that is, well, because arc length is equal to r theta. Okay? And after that, we factor it out. Nilabas natin ang r. We enclose theta over time. And as you observe, theta over time is the angular speed. Right? We substitute therefore. Now we have a new formula. The linear speed is equal to the product of the radius and the angular speed. Okay, that is out of formula transformation of all the characteristics of the variables. Now the next example, a ceiling fan with 16 inches blades rotates at 45 revolutions per minute. These 16 inches blades, we are referring to the radius already. Since the rotation is circular, the blades represents, okay, the radius. Now find the angular speed of the fan in radian per minute and find the linear speed of the tips of the blades in inches per minute. The angular speed, so we need to know again, theta is equal to 45 because you know that the blades no, generated 45 revolutions, multiply that to 2 pi, one revolution is 2 pi, so we have 90 pi regions. So the angular speed is 45 revolutions per minute. Remember, that is already the angular speed is equal to 90 pi regions per minute. Okay. Now the linear speed, so let's go back here in the angular speed, you just converted, no? 45 revolutions would mean 90 pi regions. And since the question is region per minute, then we need to have this 90 pi over rate, 90 pi regions per minute. Okay, so the linear speed, linear speed is equal to the distance s. And the theta here is 90 pi regions. We already solved. And just substitute. The radius is 16 inches. So there you go. And time is in minutes again. So that is simply one or one minute. Okay. So the answer is 1440 pi inches per minute. But what if we are using this another formula just presented a while ago that the linear speed is actually the product of the radius and uh, the angular speed? So let's try. We know also that theta is 8 times 2 pi, which is 16 pi regions because of having 8 revolutions. Okay, now the angular speed, uh, sorry, the linear speed V is equal to R times the angular speed omega. And radius is 2. So 2 feet ang radius natin. And theta is 16 pi. So substitute over time that is 15 seconds. And you notice that we are still getting the same answer as to that on the first. Okay? So it doesn't matter what you're going to use. What matters here is you must be very conscious on the given. And try to know what best method can be used.